Hi guys, it's Colette. Welcome back to my channel. And this is the weekly tarot card for the week commencing Monday the 28th of January 2019. And it is the Knight of Discs. Uh, very lovely card. I'm using my smaller row rig deck, the this, this sort of Spanish one uh, today because the other ones are getting off old and marked and these are quite new. So um, I'm hoping that... Uh, they show up just as well but here's the card you'll see there's a lot of imagery in the headdress if you want a wee quick look see how many different things are in there photographs key rings <clears throat> lovely eyes money more money <laughs> love that color of blue there isn't that gorgeous <clears throat> Yeah, beautiful card all round. Now, again, it's a court card. So what we have with the court cards is um, an energy of the people associated with the card and also with the energy of the card itself. Now, um, the card represents males, say, over about 30 uh, that are earth signs, Ta Taurus, Capricorn or Virgo and if you have any of them in your life whether it's a, a dad, a, a brother, a partner or whatever then the focus should be on them for the week ahead. So Taurus, Capricorn or Virgo earth sign males are represented with this card. Um, watch out for them, sometimes these types of males don't actually um, see when they need you you know they tend to be if you if you've ever been around a virgo male you'll know that they're quite kind of contained and they don't want to be seen as anything other than independent and capricorn and taurus as well but i particularly worry about virgo men um because i've seen a lot of um virgo men that get really depressed before they do anything about it so just watch out for um our earth sign males um in the week ahead and ask them if they need help because they're not likely to ask for it they'll think they can be all practical and do it themselves um as an energy uh it is an earth um it's a disc or a pentacles card and it's very much about the practicalities of life and also facing up to things in a mature and practical way. Um, you might find the decisions that need to be made this week and they need to be done in a very, very, very practical, uh, down-to-earth way, maybe with a bit of compromise, but always with a sense of um, being sought out. <laughs> thinking talking being prepared to compromise but only if it's definite that you're not going to get taken for an idiot i mean there is that side to the card too that any discussions this week um this card will say you know stand your ground and be fair if you can compromise without being made a fool of then that's great but if not then draw your line in the sand and stand by it uh, so it's the energy that comes from this card is fantastic um if you really need to be quite um stubborn but fear about something in the week ahead in general if you need to be practical and bring all the practical methodical energy into a project whatever that may be then this night of disc cards will certainly be very very helpful for that in the world um it's actually a good card for um negotiations but with a sense of not going over red lines so um, again there's only compromise with this card if um, the, the person that it refers to um, or the country it refers to or the party it refers to doesn't feel as though they're going to be taken for an idiot further down the line um, this card will not compromise if it does think that there's any way that they're going to be either made a fool of or there's just mistrust in it. Uh, so generally it can be a very, very good card for negotiations, but only I would say in the fair ones. Um, otherwise it tends to stand its ground. So what does it mean in work? Because it is a pentacles card and it is the sense of practicalities, money, etc. Again, it can bring out um, very strong standing your ground energies and making sure that you are heard and 
page of practical worth. Now, um, that can be different in many different occupations, but um, it's about being valued not just for your work, but with the energy and the precision that you put into it, you know. And, you know, certain jobs with a certain skill levels will all be paid the same, but there will always be people like the Knight of Discs that really put the practical edge on it, that they're, they're um, like very good tradespeople that would want to not just take the money for the job, but would actively look at the job they've done and be proud of that and see that as equally important as the money that they've been paid. So this really helps people who are very happy in their trade or their job to feel that little bit of um, not so much self-worth, but um, just celebration in you know, either having a good pair of hands on them or doing a good job or whatever. Remember, the discards tend to uh, very much be the earthy um, occupations, not so much maybe the caring ones, but the earthy ones, people like gardeners, tradesmen, um, people that make things, craftspeople, uh, people that really are very practical and can see the end result of their job and even if you're not in an occupation like that in the week ahead you still will almost be able to see something um, practical of the job you've done even if it's just say a patient giving you a box of chocolates for helping them um, so it's, it's a nice card because it can make you feel very valued and also it can allow you to stand up for your own um, precision and your own determination to do a good and very mature and well thought out job. So I like it as a work card because normally there is some sort of wee reward in it. I mean, we're not looking for that necessarily, but there can be a nice wee reward. And sometimes it can be as simple as a pat on the back, but other time it can be a wee raise or it can be something extra, you know. Um, so... I'm hopeful with this card that people will get paid their worth and maybe people that have not been getting paid or not had uh, what they're due, uh, it should maybe catch up in the week ahead. I'm hopeful anyway. Um, if we look at health, it does say healer. Oh, this is in Spanish, but on the, the English version it says healer on the card. And... Um, it very much gives you a kind of practical way of looking after health. And I know it sounds mad, but this can be a card that brings in health gadgets. <laughs> gadgets like your own high blood pressure monitor or like your, you know, your um, a new tool that can help your diabetes or maybe a new um, wrist support. Uh, it's it's a, a card energy that's quite hard to explain but it's health being helped by a practical or earthy or manifested thing <laughs> and that can be as simple as I say as a risk support um, as uh, clinistics, whatever, but there will be some sort of gadget or something this week ahead that helps your health um, in probably a very, very basic and good way. Uh, it doesn't need to be something big, big, big. It, it can be something... I, I remember um, an occupational therapist gave me two little squares of what looked like sort of plastic, and they looked like nothing, but at the time they really helped me get um, lids off jars and, and you just kind of put them and try. Now I'm a wee past that as well, but um, for quite a while they helped me. And it was just honestly like two little bit of scraps of uh, material, but it was a miracle for me because it helped me open jam uh, jars maybe jam jars too um so that's the type of thing i'm talking about with this card if you're looking for a relationship you might find that there's a very down-to-earth practical lovely earth sign mail there for you and uh you can enjoy that and uh look forward to being sometimes made 
uh, feel loved in very practical ways. The, the assigned males might not get you flowers, but they might fix your blocked toilet and they might actually help you paint a room. And from that from them does mean that they're very, very wanting to uh, look after you and love you. Um, if you're in a relationship and your male partner um, is the and they're assigned, then the focus will be on them, so keep a wee eye on them. Um, spiritually, it's not really a particularly spiritual card. Um, oh, I haven't done finances, Anna, sorry. I'm, I'm kind of all over the place tonight. Um, if we look at finances, it's a really good card for being practical about finances and maybe starting something that will benefit you in practical terms, like even if it's just putting a pound every time you swear in a swear jar or something like that. Think of it in a very practical way, you know, that um, even if it takes a wee gadget to help you save money, if it's even a wee maybe accountancy gadget for your phone or something that helps you save, that's the type of thing um, that that this card brings into the financial zone of our lives spiritually again it's not very much a spiritual card but because it's an earth uh, card and it does have this sense of um things working about it um it can bring us spiritual tools of the trade this might be a wonderful um week to buy yourself a new tarot deck and work with it um it could be a, a very lovely time for buying yourself some crystals um some runes maybe uh particularly if they're they're made from you know crystals or they're actually you do them yourself on stones or staves so this can be a nice practical um card for spirituality but either way it's not a bad card for the week ahead and it's better than the five of cups that we're just coming through. So um, practical, getting ourselves together, using all the little things that we can to take us forward in our journeys in whatever area of life. Um, Capricorn males can go a wee bit mad with this card because Capricorn males love their gadgets, um, they love their computers, their games, all these sort of things. So just watch um, the Capricorn males don't uh, over invest in gadgets or computer games or whatever. The, the Capricorn, when this card is influencing their financial zone, um, make it an excuse. <laughs> And before you know it, they've got all sorts of gab gadgets that they don't really need. So that's the wee sort of uh, warning I would put in. And it tends mainly to be for Capricorns. Um, so uh, I hope you've enjoyed the weekly tarot card, which we see. I've, um, I've been told I have to promote my books more. Um, so just a tarot novice to pro in one book. Uh is available on all Amazons and I hope if you buy it and like it and work through it, it's not a book that's meant to just be dead, it's got spreads and stuff in it. You're meant to do them all, build up your knowledge and then go back and work through it again. Uh, so it's, it's kind of a, a course and that's the way it was developed. So um, yeah, I hope you have a nice practical night of discs kind of uh, week ahead and i uh, hope you benefit from it so many blessings now i uh, hope to see you next week please subscribe and uh, share and all do all those things that you meant to there should be some sort of button that you can press with my face on it um so i'll hopefully see you next week many blessings now bye